Hi, my name is Heung Shin. I am from South Korea and I am PhD candidate in Seoul National University. <laughs> uh, I am a social scientist. So this uh, method is new for me, but I am really trying to apply it in my area. So the uh, topic is that uh, clustering electronic vehicle changing, uh, charging pattern with BTW and EV charging energy demand prediction with LSTM. Uh, so I am going to explain the importance of EV charging pattern and I applied the two methods in R and Python. So I'm going to share the result. So, so why it, is it so important to know identifying EV charging pattern? Is that first of all, the world, world know that uh, uh, transportation has a huge responsibility for the CO2 emissions. So uh, most of countries try to reduce the CO2 emissions and uh, transportation is the, one of the highest uh, sectors to emit the CO2 emissions. So every market is getting uh, get to uh, notice to uh, a good a tool to uh, effective tool to reduce CO2 emissions. So uh, expertise expects that five times uh, of if, uh, EV market share in 2030 that uh, from now. So it's getting higher market share in the future. And uh, the reason why uh, EV charging pattern is no uh, identified is it's really, really related to uh, charging system and energy demand. The uh, predicting EV charging patterns can expect energy demand. And also the reason the EV is effective uh, tool to reduce CO2 emission is they not produce uh, CO2 when they are driving. But the problem is that when the EV is charging, then they have to uh, they get the electricity, which, uh, which is, uh, so the energy source is really important for the EV uh, effective uh, tools. So, so EV is still receive energy from the conventional grid, such as uh, fossil fuels. So EV has not yet greened energy consumption, but it will be. So right now we have to uh, require, uh, we have to modeling accurately the effect of national wide EV charging demands for the future infrastructures needs. So that is why I'm uh, considering of these topics. So the goal of this study is to cluster and uh, predict EV charging patterns so the data that I have is uh, EV charging minutes data and in Korea to 200 sites and it's about fast chargers. So fast charger, it takes just 30 minutes for full battery. So, and it is more uh, installed in government owned facilities so that is really, uh, that there is a possibility to suggest a police, a police implementation for other countries as well, because other country has really low uh, market share as well. So uh, Seoul case can be the one of the representative uh, case. So the, uh, TTW, the dynamic time warping, is the one uh, uh, clustering time series method. So I 
uh, compared to Euclidean distance. So there is a uh, different uh, time series pattern like a red one and blue one. And we can see that clearly these two series follow the same pattern, but the, the blue one has a different time speed from the red one. So Euclidean distance not perfectly synced up because it has to be one-to-one -one match and uh, have to be same order of the vectors. So Euclidean distance cannot uh, uh, match up perfectly, but in T TW, they, uh, it, it, this algorithm can match one to, one to many match like in this one, uh, so in in the red one has one 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 time series, but the uh, blue one has the more. So this algorithm is measuring similarity between the two temporal uh, sequence, which may vary in speed. So it uh, so that's why they uh, match the one to map many match. Ooh, yeah. So uh, what I did in the R space, I tried to explore this data to know what I can do in the future. So this one is just, I uh, checked the, the pattern of them. And this one is just a, 2021 data, just one year data. And it, uh, it is 200 sites for the uh, EV charging pattern, but I uh, averaged in one unit and five zones and 25 districts. And when the number of the clusters is getting uh, larger, the pattern has been changed and there are different change as well, a uh, different pattern as well. So I might do uh, apply the time series clustering in this data. So I did, and because I'm our users, I tried to do it in this, uh, in R. And this one is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, da the data frame in uh, DTW close package, we have to make the uh, transpose the data frame. So when uh, we have the data, the, the row column is uh, our and color and column colors has the sites. But when I want to apply this package, I have to transpose the data. That's the one I uh, realized. <laughs> and then uh, I try to the time series clustering in this one. So uh, this one is for the um, uh, cluster validity index. So uh, 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 this indicates that three and seven Three and seven is the perfect clustering number, and this one is three and seven as well. But I just uh, grouped six clusters because for um, comparing to uh, other methods as well. So there are some. Ah, uh, this one yeah. is the part partitioner. Partitioner, partitioner uh, methodology. So it's uh, so uh, uh, so this one is hierarchical. So this one is uh, so this method consider all the data as a one single tone, you know, like a single cluster, and then repeat it until the uh, so. And then they calculate the similarity between between clusters. And uh, when the cluster uh, is close, 
close than just a single tone, then they, the clusters are merged and repeated until the one single star remains. This one is the that algorithm and partitioner is also is a uh, <laughs> oh, no. uh, why don't you check some degree of like coherence between the points ah, that are part of the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's basically similar to K-means uh, clustering. So it, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But in the case of, for example, both the partitional mm -hmm. and the hierarchical clustering, you need to set some threshold. For the hierarchical clustering, you have to say like, how much has to be the difference between clusters to actually say that they're like separate clusters, otherwise you get more, right? Yeah. So how did you come up with that? Oh, I just try to. Oh, I just try to. Um, oh, I try to repeat it again, and again. So like I. Oh, before I uh, try to operate this uh, method, I have to put the the number of the cluster at first. So I tried just many times. <laughs> okay. So I tried uh, two cluster to, I remember 10, uh, and I can put that uh, like a range. So they show the, uh, the optimal result and uh, the optimal result is uh, five to seven is the optimal uh, cluster. So I just select the six, six clusters. It's interesting that it gives you a range instead of like the optimal number of clusters, right? Yeah, because uh, there is a, a result of uh, uh, cluster validity in dice. So I can uh, compare it with, uh, with, the, with the optimal cluster is the, the best. So I just select the six. Yeah. So yeah, so like in this group one, there is upper higher than stories, but group three is lower than stories. So it's different uh, uh, EV charging patterns. So I can compare it or uh, give some implications. And this one is also hierarchical clustering as well. And last, uh, we can see the cluster dendrogram as well. So I uh, applied six um, cluster as well. So, mm. and in this case is, uh, I tried, uh, in this case, I applied it in hourly unit, but in this case, I, uh, use daily units. So it's like six group as well. Yeah. So, oh, so in this is the uh, clustering validation in dice. So they says uh, seal index and uh, other uh, index has shown that uh, higher or lactical uh, clustering is better. Yeah, like that. And oh, so this the this is the result from uh, that I have done before I came to Matera. So, but it's for only one year. So I request the public data open system in Korea to get to more information about four years more, and I receive when I was here, so <laughs> in the Tuesday, I think, so I got, I received more data. So I think I should do something in here. So I tried LSTM to predict the, the uh, uh, EV uh, charging pattern. So I select just one uh, district, Gangnam and daily, uh, data and uh, evil return to pattern by STM 
and oh yeah, what, where is it? So, uh, I'm uh, I'm a user. This the Python script is new to me, but I tried and thanks to Antonio's code, I can do it. So, <laughs> anyway, I tried it and uh, this is one I uh, select, but we can see there is a steep uh, increase here, but I I use this amount for the train set and this amount is for the uh, test sets. So I assume that, uh, not assume, I expect that maybe the prediction is not so good because there is a little bit different of trend. So I try to do that and yeah, yeah. Also I expect that as same, yeah, it's probably there is a, a lot of uh, errors and, but still it's okay. So I try to do another uh, optimization of Adam and it's getting better. Uh, not, not in this case, but when the, the like a uh, look back, so three times before the data that I'm using for the the next next two time series, then it's getting better. And last, the only stopping is the best. Yeah, that's really interesting part. <laughs> so, yeah. And yeah, I that's what I did so far. <laughs> Very good. Uh, <laughs> I'd like that you switch from R to Python. Even yeah. in uh, in few in few days, you were able to plot in this new data set. Okay, just a curiosity. This this gap in the is due to to something particular or. I don't know, this is low data. I, I mean, I, of course I normalize it, but I don't know why this is so different uh, trend is, change. Because this is dates, no? Yeah, this is the date. So it can be a holidays? But I checked other district. There is no, this kind of uh, so difference. They, they, they change the machine, they change the charger, you know? Uh, it's, there is the same, uh, there are same uh, same sites, no different sites. No, no, it's the same site, but mm. maybe they change the unit, the charger station. Ah, uh, more. So, yeah, maybe it went from like a regular charger to like a cheaper fast charge, and then more people start to do that. You know, like yeah. Cheaper price. Cheaper could price. Be the, be yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I have to check yeah. this part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, any, yeah, yeah very very interesting good. thing that you see that like the LSTM doesn't capture this very big situation, right? Yeah, so, like, correct. You kind of capture it moving the trend. Mm -hmm. like, it's like the, the mean of the time series, right? Yeah. Basically. And we, now we know why. Because uh, LSTM tries to make a smooth prediction. Yeah. It's going to be jumping around, right? Yeah, exactly. It's really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, any, any order? Question. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you.